First opening on the site of a former restaurant in 1985, the dream project of local businessman Robert Congel would shift to a scrapyard outside of town to become the Carousel Center, a mall which would open in 1990. Since then, it has grown to almost 2.5 million square feet, making it the largest mall in New York State and the 8th largest mall in America. This is Destiny USA. Yeah. Opening with seven anchors, an eighth anchor was added in 1994, and expansions were planned almost immediately. Those plans, just like the original construction, were delayed due to the location being a brownfield cleanup site from its former use as an oil company and junkyard. Finally, they were able to proceed, and an announcement that Carousel Center would double in size was released in 1997. Three years later, they announced that they would actually triple the mall size, bringing in hotels, movie theaters, and an aquarium. A massive advertising campaign started, but residents didn't plan on holding their breath after years of just talk. If you have been to Carousel Mall lately, you've probably noticed all those signs advertising Destiny USA. All that attention is getting a lot of customers excited about what's in store. No corner's been left unturned. They're literally everywhere you look. In the basement, on every floor, even on the elevators. Signs asking shoppers to imagine what the future holds. It sounds like it's going to be something no one's ever seen before. But still not everyone is buying into it. There's a part of me that thinks that it's just advertising and they're just putting up these posters so that people can really think that, you know, there's going to be this big mall in Syracuse, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Over the following years, the developers set about securing funding for what was estimated to be a $2.2 billion project, and in 2007, work began that would finally open in 2012. This is the main atrium. The mall has six tiers and one basement level in this section, which is the highest. The first three floors are all retail, while the fourth floor is taken up by Regal Cinemas. As the original Carousel Mall, the upper floors were used as a sky deck event space for weddings and dinners but were changed to administrative offices as Destiny USA. That's cool. Unlike many malls that held events and appearances at their grand opening, Carousel Center touted itself as the main attraction, along with a good deal of news on its namesake, a fully restored 1908 Philadelphia Toboggan Coasters Antique Carousel, the 18th that that company created. Previously, it moved around states until coming to the region in 1926. 
Before coming to Carousel Center, it resided at Rosalind Park from 1941 until the park's closure in 1985. After its restoration, Robert Congel took the first official ride on the carousel before the mall's ribbon cutting. When a Bally Total Fitness opened up inside the mall in 1999, they did have the cast of Baywatch in for appearances. On a morbid note, the tall atrium has been used in suicides over the years that had employees and shoppers demanding extra safety be added during the renovations. From 1998 to 2008, a total of five people jumped their deaths from the upper atrium floors. Some lawmakers did attempt to pass a law that required the mall to build safety barriers, but it did not pass. Other instances report injuries to shoppers as things were thrown from upper floors. In 1999, a 20-year-old man would lose his balance on an escalator railing that he was sitting on and fall to his death. Other times people either survived their jumps or were successfully talked out of it, but no safety precautions were added by the mall. Similarly, shoppers were angered by the lack of security added after robberies and gunfire happened at the mall. Good evening everyone, I'm Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. Shots fired inside Destiny USA on Saturday night, sending shoppers, workers scrambling for safety. Only days before, Julie Beheim robbed at gunpoint in the mall's parking lot. This certainly isn't the first time safety at Destiny USA has been called into question. Syracuse police were called to the mall around 4 o'clock Sunday afternoon to a report of a theft at finish line. Three young men ran out of the store, workers chasing them into the parking garage, and one of them pulled out a handgun before getting into a car and driving away. I'm standing in the area of the central tower of the mall, only a few hundred feet from where the trash can was hit. This is one of the busiest areas, which is why so many people heard the gunshots. This is like my second shootout at the mall. What would you say to those people who are just terrified? Sure. So I passed a lot of them on the way in here. They're all leaving. Um, I know they're nervous, they're scared, they're anxious. Uh, what I would say is this, I don't want to be the chief of police that tells people not to live. Some people have decided to live without the mall after notable shootings or stabbings in 2018, 2019, 2021, 2022, and now 2023. I believe the number of shots fired here um, is 0.0001 or something like that. But th none of those statistics matter when you're here shopping and you hear some shots fired go out. Yeah. There's Margaritaville. We were allowed to film inside as it was closing for the night, but that doesn't mean Destiny USA hasn't struggled. Just before and during the pandemic, things were looking shaky for the mall, with its occupancy rate down to 62.6% in 2020 as opposed to 85% in 2014, and the mall's valuation was down 80%. Syracuse's mayor has a lot on his plate, but he is growing so worried about the continued exodus of stores from Destiny USA, he's actually been talking with mall owners about it. First, it was J.C. Penney, then Lord and & Taylor, and the latest anchor tenant closing up, Best Buy at Destiny USA. They're doing everything they can, and, and it's kind of a perfect storm for them. But for the city of Syracuse, the concern is also the millions in sales tax dollars it gets 
from Destiny USA. All I can do is offer our support wherever possible, uh, keep an open line of communication, and that's what we're doing. And, uh, you know, I, they know that uh, if they uh, if they need something, they can reach out, and um, and that's uh, that's how we'll continue to go. By 2022, a number of new tenants have filled those vacancies, but the mall was still in trouble, getting a five-year extension on its $430 million loan that it had missed a payment on in June that year. Will Destiny USA pull through in the long run? With the closure of its two nearest competitors, the mall is the only regional shopping center left, drawing in over 26 million visitors a year and hopefully it will continue to do so.